fantastic competition. Good luck with that one. Now, in the last two weeks, uh, she's got up close and personal with her gorgeous George Clooney and the delicious Daniel Craig. Now, Alison Hammond's got her sights set on Ewan McGregor. Today, I talk sex with Ewan. Are you treated like a romantic sex god at home? I tell him how fortunate he is. You've got to be really special for me to interview you. Well, I feel really, really special now that you've done me that. And find out if you will have me barred from being Juliet to his Romeo. By whose direction foundest thou out this place? It's all coming up as I meet you and McGregor. I love it! <laughs> to make a thriller, take one geeky accountant, add a slick, charming, mysterious stranger, throw in a sexy girl, or two, or three, and more twists and turns than a court screw on a bobsleigh. And you have deception. Ewan, Hello. welcome to this morning. Thank it's you. lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. Ewan plays Jonathan, a lonely accountant who moves from company to company, never really meeting anyone, until he's befriended by Wyatt, played by Aussie hunk Hugh Jackman. So you like this work, or...? It's all right, I guess. You like working with numbers. Do you like being a lawyer? Yeah, it's all right, I guess, if you like working with asses. Now, your character in the beginning, a little bit of a geek. What I want to know, was it a little bit of a stretch to act that, or did it come quite easily to <laughs> Uh, I tried to look at what made him really lonely and separated from the world, uh, as opposed to just thinking of him as being geeky, or which, which you're quite at liberty to do, please. Wyatt introduces Jonathan to a high-class sex group for the super wealthy, where a meet is arranged with a call and four words. Are you free tonight? And there is a simple rule. No names. But when Jonathan meets the mysterious S, played by Michelle Williams, he soon wants to break the rules and become romantically involved. I don't want to complicate your life. No, uh, I want all the complications you've got. And talking of romance, in a recent poll, you're the man most women would like to receive a diamond from on <laughs> Christmas morning. But what I want to obscure know. Paul is that. Who would you most like to shell a pistachio for you whilst <laughs> you're sitting in a Mini Cooper on the M3? Who would you most like to give you a diamond on Christmas morning? On Christmas morning. You're the you're the man. Yeah. Oh, well, well, that's I very nice. I'm thrilled. <laughs> you I can't wait to get out there, <laughs> celebrate. So, are you treated like a romantic sex god at home? Or do you just have to put the bins out? <laughs> you win! I have a very romantic time at home, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm treated like a... I must tell Ev that, though, because you'll be interested to hear that. Back to the story, and the plot truly thickens when S is abducted from Jonathan's hotel room and the police don't believe him. All I know, I know about her is her first name starts with an S. Look. I know it all sounds... But I swear there's a woman in serious trouble right now. Now, I'm sure you get offered loads of thrillers, but what was it about deception that you found particularly thrilling? Did yeah. you see what I did there? That was nice. I so love the way you used thrilling and then thriller. <laughs> that was nice. But I think you're right. No, I've read a lot of thrillers, and I've never really fancied them until this one. I felt this one had something about it that interested me. I, I think it's to do with that, the fact that my character was really cut off emotionally from the world and through the film is kind of dragged back to life. I don't know what else it is. I get a kind of connection with it while I'm reading it. It's like me, when I'm doing these interviews, if I don't feel it in my heart with these celebrities, I don't interview her. Huh? So you've got to be really special for me to interview you. Well, I feel really, really special now that you've told me that. They're trying to set me up. Meanwhile, Jonathan discovers that Wyatt is beyond the abduction of S and wants him to abuse his job as an accountant to steal money. Jonathan! Everything you told me was a lie. Not lies, Jonathan. That was foreplay. And now you... Hang on! This is daytime TV! <coughs> anyway, as well as starring in it, Hugh Jackman also produced this film. <laughs> now, Hugh is an arch manipulator who's obsessed with money and will do anything to get the upper hand. That's enough about him as a producer. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know, yeah. is, did he enjoy being a villain? I think he did. He has no idea what I'm capable of. He certainly looked like he enjoyed it, yeah. Is He's he... a diamond. He's a lovely, lovely is guy, he... Hugh. I, I loved working with him. Don't go changing. Now for a slight gear change to talk about Ewan's round-the-world bike trips with his best friend, Charlie. The most recent, of course, long way down, saw him having testing times travelling through Africa. So we're coming along very nice, hard-packed, and then suddenly, uh-oh. We're proud to accept the award for the first tumble of the difficult road to Namibia. 
Now, I understand you're not planning another round-the-world bike trip. Is that true? Or not fancy? at the moment. We're not planning one, no. They're kind of trips of a lifetime, and I don't want to do them all at once, you know? <laughs> I think we did Long Way Round and Long Way Down. There were three years in between. We will do another one, I'm sure we will. They say that imitation is one of the most sincere forms of flattery. Apparently, the princes will are now going to take a bike trip yeah. for charity. What advice would you give to them? The most important thing is to stop and look around, you know, make sure you appreciate take where you in. are. You take it all in, yeah. Meanwhile... You've made a mistake. Is that so? Jonathan begins to fight back. But can he save the girl and save the day? Well, you know what you have to do to find out. Problem solving, it's what I do. I know all about you. Well, how did you... Uh... It doesn't matter how I know. What matters is what I know. Now I want her back. And all this talk of deception reminds me that there is plenty of it in Othello, which you and recently starred in in the West End as arch-villain Iago. But I'd like to see you in the world's most romantic role as Romeo. I have rewritten the balcony scene. Have you? And I was wondering if you'd like to star opposite me. Yeah. Because it would make me very excited. I would, yeah. But I've got to get all my props and stuff and get ready. All right, on you go. OK, so firstly, let me give you your script. There's your script, sweetheart. All right, cool, thanks. And uh, there's your... what? Collar. All right. <laughs> I mean, it's cold. Hold on. Let me get my balcony. Oh, look at your balcony, man. <laughs> let me get my... Hold on, hold on. No, oh, that's get nice. Are you feeling it? Yeah. All right, ready? Hold on. hold on, let me get in my balcony. OK. okay. Now, I can't, hang on, I can't. You have to watch because you're blocking me with your Sorry. balcony. Shall I come in the balcony there, like that? Is that better? That's yeah. better, put it that way, but there okay. we are. Okay, hold on. Okay, let me just get my character. I'm not, I'm not doing method, forget that. Oh, Romeo! Romeo! Where for out though, Romeo? By whose direction foundest thou out this place? <laughs> I'm good enough. By love, that first did prompt me to inquire, he lent me counsel and I lent him eyes. I hear a noise within, dear love, parting is such sweet sorrow. Sleep, Feel it. dwell upon thine eyes, peace in thy breast, where I were sleep and peace so sweet to rest. Rest? Who can rest, O gallant sir? Plantest thou upon me a kiss, for with you and... As Romeo, it's an opportunity not to miss. <laughs> I love it! Uh, Lovely to meet you, you finally. Too. That was great. <laughs> Very good. Fantastic. Is there anybody who's actually refused to kiss her yet? No, I don't think no. so. No, fantastic. No. And thank you, you McGregor, yes. as well. Good sport. Great sport. Now then.